What's going on you guys? It's a single guy channel. I'm Lloyd. So today we're going to be talking about the women to avoid. Specifically, I'm going to be focusing on one kind of individual. Um, this girl comes up a lot, especially for guys who are in scarcity mode where they don't have a whole lot of options. Uh, this is by far the girl that you want to avoid at all costs, okay? Uh, and she can be very sneaky and she can disguise herself very well. Um, but I guarantee you, if you're watching this video right now, uh, a good percentage of you are talking to this girl as we speak. So I'm going to tell you about that in just a second. Um, before I do, you guys, there's been a couple spots opening up in my one-on-one -on -one coaching program and my group coaching programs as well, too. I'm going to be starting that in a couple weeks. So if you want to reserve your spot in that, um, or if you're interested in it, uh, I'd love to hear more about your challenges. Fill out the form in the description below. There's a link. Click on the link, fill out the form, uh, and we'll get back to you if you seem like a good fit. Okay, cool. So let's talk about this type of girl. Now, this type of girl is not someone who is mean to you right off the bat. Okay. I actually don't mind those girls that much. Okay. I like it when people are honest. Okay. If they're going to be, and if they're in a bad mood and they don't want to talk, then cool. I'll go talk to somebody else. The people that I don't like when I go out are the people that pretend like they're interested in you, pretend like they want to talk to you, but really aren't. Okay. And because that wastes everybody's time. And so this girl is kind of like that. What this girl will do typically is you'll see this girl actually be really sweet to you at the beginning. She'll seem like she's interested. She'll give you good eye contact. She'll laugh. She'll do all the things that you would think a girl would normally be into you with. Okay. But she's never ever going to give you what she wants or what you want rather. So what these girls tend to do is they tend to keep you around by um, making you think like they're you're going to date them. You maybe be their girlfriend. Um, but really, usually it's because the guy thinks that he's going to be able to sleep with this girl. Okay. So what she does is she kind of gives him like a whiff of pussy <laughs> to put it mildly. Um, and that'll keep the guy around for, for a long time. Like you'll see this girl, maybe she'll hug you. Maybe she'll like, uh, she'll say, well, we should hang out. I really like you. Oh my God, you're so pretty or whatever. I don't, I don't know. She'll say a bunch of different things to try and basically keep you around, make you think that you're gonna get some from her, but you never ever will. Or if you do, it's gonna be really quick and not that great, okay? Uh, I would say 99% of the time, you're not gonna get anything from this girl, okay? What she's doing is she's using her attention, her sexuality to keep you around as an option, to keep you around as another guy, okay? And she does this probably with a lot of guys. I, I had one girl in particular who I knew when I was in, uh, I think I was in college, one girl in particular did this more aggressively than I've seen any other girl do it, okay? So we were friends and, uh, well, friends, <laughs> that's, that, that's a light term, but she would play tons of dudes. She would do this all the time, okay? I, I would typically see a guy at, at the place or something like that thinking he was going to get laid, thinking he was going to have sex with this girl or get into a relationship with her or whatever. And she would be doing this to like five or six different guys. And the funniest part is, dude, this girl was a virgin, or she claimed to be a virgin. Um, and then she said she also had a boyfriend that was abroad that she would talk to and I assume, you know, habitually cheat on <laughs> with a bunch of other guys. You know, not sexually, so I guess that maintains her sanctity or whatever. Um, but she would just waste everybody's time, you know? A lot of guys would think that um, she, she was available or they had a chance with her and none of them did. And she would do this with so many different guys to try and fill this void because she's not having a satisfying relationship with all with any of them. Um, so she just has a lot of guys in there to try and fill this void. So uh, for her, probably not a great life. For the guys, also, it sucks too. So how do you spot this kind of person to, in your life? Because you're probably talking to a girl, or at least a good percentage of you are talking to a girl like this that is making it seem like she's into you, making it seem like she's going to give you what you want, but in reality, she never is, okay? And this girl causes a problem for... Women don't even like this kind of girl either because what they'll do is they'll, they'll do this to guys that they're with. Okay, so how do you spot this person, okay? She probably doesn't have a whole lot of female friends, one. Um, she probably, whenever you try and hang out with her or when you try and make plans with her, she's not available, but she will ask you, Hey, come to this club. Hey, come to this party. Hey, do this. She wants to fit you into like a schedule where she's like, okay, I'll get this guy to come. I'll get these guys to hang out with me and do what I want. But it, she's never really down to do what you want to do. Okay. Remember I say on this channel frequently, if a man is leading and a woman follows, that's the man to woman interaction. That's gonna that's that causes romantic feelings, that causes sexual tension. 
if you're always following what she's doing, that puts you in the submissive role, her in the dominant role. Typically, no sex or really any desire is going to happen from that. So um, if she's always inviting you to stuff, but you don't, never does what you want to do, that's another sign too. Uh, and then the final thing as well is she's, you know, this can happen with some different girls, but she's probably pretty touchy-feely with you. She probably gives you lots of hugs, maybe a kiss on the cheek or something like that. Um, or, or maybe she just touches you a lot. And so with guys that don't have a whole lot of options, they're, they get excited because women don't usually do this to them. So they're so excited at the possibility of getting sex that they can't see the overall picture, which is that they're never going to get it. So the way to get rid of this girl, the way to not have her in your life is to have a lot of options and recognize when you're seeing this type of girl. And if she's not doing what you want her to do, go find a girl who will, man. I talk about having options in this channel all the time. I mean, it's far easier to just go out and get another girl um, who is going to be down for you, who does like you, than spend all your waking moments trying to get this girl who's not playing ball, who's not doing what you want her to do. Um, into a relationship. I mean, it's bad for both people. It's going to waste both of your times and just cause a lot of frustration in the dating market, okay? So, if you encounter this girl, move on. Go after somebody else. Don't message her back. I know it's tempting. She's probably pretty hot. Or, you know, I find that girls who are in this are hot, but they're not like super, super hot. They're kind of like in this even keel where the guy feels like he has a shot, you know? And that's the real dangerous place to be is when you feel like you have a shot and you don't, then you waste all your time, okay? You have to look at yourself as a high value individual. A high value individual respects number one, his time, okay? His time is something that he respects the most, okay? Money and all these different things, they, they, they come and they go, okay? I've had girls waste my money. I've had girls, um, you know, reject me blatantly. I would prefer those girls any day of the week over a girl that wastes my time, or as much time as girls like that have wasted um, it for me in the past before I had a lot of options and I had this part of my life handled. So, guys, respect your time and respect yourself first. And you gotta treat yourself as a high value guy. There's always another girl out there that's gonna be better for you. So don't settle for something, for a situation where you're always gonna get teased and you're never gonna get what you want, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you may see that and consider subscribing, I come out with videos like this every single week. Good luck out there.